must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. As always, I'm sure most of you have spotted that amazing beam of light in the background. Actually guys, I, was, I wasn't recording, but I was just about to start recording. And literally a shooting star came out of the sky and landed right there. I wish I was recording so you guys would have seen it, but I, I was shocked that it even happened. Um, and it's actually very close as far as shooting stars go i mean that's the closest one i've ever seen so we might be able to go get that um i think it disappears like in the morning so we should probably go get that right away huh i was gonna do something else but we can we can do that as soon as i get the shooting star what i wanted to do was i wanted to finish lighting these uh torches because there's some torches like there's one right there uh there's some torches that i didn't light with the blue flame but we could always teleport back here. I, I feel like a shooting star is going to be more important right now, just because I've never gotten one. Can I get Cookie over here, please? Cookie. Let's go. I've never needed your speed more than more than this moment. Let's go. Okay. We can walk out of the village, I guess, even though there's nobody in front of us. Okay, there's one person. Hope you guys are all having a great day, wherever you guys might be. Uh, this is pretty cool. I I actually don't remember what you need the star fragments for, but I'm pretty sure probably uh, upgrading like rare armor. I think that's what it's for. Let's see if we can actually get over there. Somebody's being attacked, but we ain't got time to save everybody. I'm trying to save the whole world. One or two people might get lost, but we're trying to save all of Hyrule, okay? I was thinking about teleporting to that tower and then going to the shooting star, but I didn't know if that would make the shooting star disappear. Wait, the shooting star didn't just disappear, did it? I don't, I actually don't see it anymore, but it was over here. Let's just get a little closer and see. I'm gonna be pretty disappointed if it disappeared because it literally just landed like moments ago. Um. Oh, hi guys. I uh, I don't see it. I don't know where it is. Wait a minute. Um. Blink, why don't you jump forward off of Cookie, not like backwards? Um, I guess we can go look over here. I thought it landed right over here somewhere. Wow, it really disappeared that fast? Alright, well, we have a sleeping camp of dudes here. And there's a chest. I don't think this will one-shot him. Not even close, actually. Let's summon in uh, Wolf Link here. Any minute. Any minute. These monsters aren't even mad that I just killed their friend. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Okay, you know what, Wolf Link? We're going to do this without you. Because you're being stubborn. You don't want to summon. I'm going to steal their meat. Going to blow up their boxes. Going to take all your apples. All your apples are mine now. Don't 
Don't start a forest fire. How rude. Where are you going? No, the bees are for you, not for me. This is gonna take forever killing him with this weapon. Alright. You know what, let's just make quick work of these guys. Stop making a fire! There we go. Easy! I'm still upset that we missed the shooting star though, like what happened? It just disappeared and when I was getting close. That's... <laughs> man. I guess, I guess this game is just brutal like that, like... If you don't get the shooting star right away, it's just gone. Well, let's, let's look at, the, at this chest at least. These, like, four and two damage weapons are literally useless. They do, like, almost nothing to these guys in master mode. Those I will take. I actually do need more fire arrows. Alright, let's get the ore that we saw. Bunch of ore over here, at least. Wait, those are luminous? Maybe they only shine bright at night. That's my guess. Awesome. Alright. Luminous stone actually sell for a lot. And I see a Korok. And we could also use luminous stones to upgrade. Oh, I see them. They're way up there. shots two for two oh my goodness another flawless victory slime boys flawless victory <laughs> oh man all right now can I summon wolf lake I don't even oh now you come oh now that we're not in battle I'm just gonna take a peek around. Where did that shooting star go? It was like right around here, I thought. Man, I should have marked it with my uh, with my zoom in thing. Pretty awesome uh, picture though. All right, let me go back to Hateno real quick. Man, what a waste. We almost got a shooting star, guys. Next time for sure. I thought that was our moment. It was too soon. I think it gets a lot easier to get those once you get the master cycle, but because then you could just fly over mountains and stuff. The horse doesn't really do that very well. All right, so what I want to do here real quick is just fly down here. Oh. Let's not forget about this shrine right there. Then there's also a shrine up there. Maybe I'll go check those shrines out after this. Alright, is this the uh, the last one I got? No, there's still some more down here. Alright. I think we just... I just want to light the lanterns that are like in the city. In Hateno, because... I saw a few and it was kind of bothering me that we didn't light them. Even though you don't get anything for lighting them all, I just feel better knowing that they're all lit. Let's see. It's definitely at least three that I saw. Got that one. Once they're lit, they're lit forever and then you can like see them at night and it looks really cool. There's another one. 
Is there one up here, I think? No. Oh, there's... Actually, there is, yeah. Oh, there's a couple over here. We actually missed more than I thought. Got another one right here. My my spear! Alright, we got another one, don't worry. I want that apple! Alright, I think there's one more in the town. Let me go look real quick. At least one or two more in the town. Oh, yeah. Hello, froggies. Ooh, there's actually armored porgy in there, I think. And is there any more? That might have been the last one. Really wish Nintendo would have given you anything just for lighting them all because like I said once they're lit they stay lit forever and it just seems like everywhere else in this game you're rewarded for doing things like that all right I guess that's all of them uh, let's see what's in the store real quick before we head off on our next adventure I like to buy rare ingredients like this that you don't find normally let's buy all the milk because you can't find those like in the wild. These are actually very, very nice. The hearty truffles. Wait, can I not? There we go. Let's buy both of the hearty truffles. Bird eggs. We could find all these other things. Actually, the rice. I'm not sure if we can find. What do you got for arrows? Let's buy all of his arrows. I got a lot of them, but whatever. What do you got here? Bomb arrows? Oh, those are expensive. 350. That's a little bit too much for me. Uh, let's... Actually, I have no, no need to sell because I have nothing that I need to buy, so... Alright, so from here, where do we want to go? I think we're going to go to this shrine. And then there was one or two shrines that we can try to knock out, I think, that are next to this shrine. And I also want to find the tower that the, that's in this area. It's, it's one of the areas that we still need to find the tower. Tawa Jin Shrine. I don't even remember this shrine. Oh, actually I do. This was the three Hinox brothers. Ah, yes. All right, so let's see if we can find the tower. And uh, summon Zamor in here real quick from Twilight Princess. I'm gonna guess that the Hinox all respawned as well, so. I do love the giant boomerang. Oh yeah. So there's that shrine up there. I kinda wanna just go do that one. What do you guys think? Maybe I can do a blast to the shrine. It needs to have like, uh, actually I might be able to do it over here. I could probably do it off this thing. Yeah, except that those dang rib cage things are in the way. I can do it right here, maybe. Alright, Wolf Link, you stay right there so you don't mess up my aim. Let's see if I can blast. See, the, the ground is sloping, which makes it a little bit harder. Not a very good launch. Didn't quite get that momentum. I mean, I did get a little bit of a launch, but just not as much as I was hoping. I don't want to land right where the Hinox is. Let's just use... 
I know it seems crazy to, to use these, but I can actually get more of these stamina things, like, pretty easily. Now that I know where the Staminoka spawn, like in that Zora River, I could just go back there and get a lot more of them if I ever need more stamina wheels. Maybe I can launch again, like up here. Get a little bit closer to it. Actually, same thing for the, uh, there's some ore right there. Same thing for that shrine that was in the middle of the water. I could prop, actually, this is a great spot to be looking for fairies. Oh, look at that, it's Hylian Rice. There you go. Just doing some lawn mowing real quick. No fairies? Oh boy. We're being ambushed. We're being ambushed, and my wolf, wolf link always leaves me when I need him. There we go. Oh my gosh, my boomerang! Wolf Link seems to be doing just fine by himself. I'm actually gonna take your spear, I don't have any bad weapons. Wolf Link is straight up killing that guy, like no problem, he's not even getting hit. And that dude has a club. Wolf <coughs> Excuse me. Wolfling didn't even take damage. Good boy. Alright, where was I going? Up here? I don't remember. Ah, uh, yes. Alright. I might be able to do this. Alright, Wolfling, you stay. I might be able to do this. See, it's, it's a pretty far drop here, so I, when it's a really steep slope, it actually makes it a lot harder. Because I'm, I gotta get really close to that. That wasn't it. I might not be able to do it right here. Hmm. Is there a better spot? It's just a little bit too much of a slope. Maybe over here. Um, yeah, this might be better. Set it about right here. Oops, wrong button. Make sure I'm lined up still here a little bit. There we go. And we're just gonna, oh my gosh. Alright, we're just gonna... I'm not getting close enough to the, uh, the bomb. Alright, let's try one more time. It takes, even, even with the missteps, it's still faster to do this than the walk up there. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to die though. Alright. Oh, okay, my bomb didn't come out. My circle bomb. I thought it did. All right. One more try. If I don't get it this time, I'm just going to walk up there with the horse. Okay. All right. Apparently, that's just not a great spot, or I'm just not doing it right, so... Let's just walk up there.
Ooh, there's an enemy camp too. But I kind of, I might just run past the enemy camp so I get to the shrine because otherwise the camp might slow me down to where I don't have enough time to do the shrine and I want to do a shrine this video. So let's do the shrine and then I'll deal with the camp after. Wolflank might deal with the shrine for me. I don't remember what this shrine is. It's either a major test of strength or something else. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it's a hard one. Muo Jim Shrine. Alright. I want to do at least one shrine every episode because we got to keep making progress towards that Master Sword, you know what I mean? Let's see what we got. Special bows. A few bows fire multiple arrows at once. I know, right? Some bows even fire five arrows. A modest test of strength. So maybe the one down in the water is the major test. This is our first modest test of strength. Maybe I'll do a, a mighty elixir just because I have a few. Might as well heal up as well. Sometimes there's some chests on the sides. Alright, we still have the uh, rock pillars. So it's gonna be easy. I'm pretty sure on the on the major test of strength, there's no rock pillars to hide behind. All right, so he's got a nice looking shield and an even better looking battle axe than I have. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna use all these uh, weapons that I don't really care about first. Jumping a little early. All right, now this weapon will do more damage to him. I'm still jumping early, but I guess it's. Oh wow, broke that fast. Will will lightning do good to him? Oh yeah, lightning really stuns him. Uh-oh. I'm trying to hit him in the eye right when he does that. This part's actually cool. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this part. So I'll show you what it looks like. He charges way up, but then he shoots several lasers. Oh, he's, he's revitalizing. He's regenerating. Bye-bye. Ancient Battle Axe Plus. And... Guardian Shield Plus. I like how he could use this Ancient Battle Axe Plus with one hand, but it takes me two hands. I don't even have a one-handed weapon other than the, the thunderstorm rod, but here's the uh, regular guardian shield, and then here's the guardian shield plus. Very nice. Oh, even the thing on the back looks a little different. I really, really need some more one-handed weapons. 
Uh, so maybe after this I'll summon some amiibos. Maybe we'll get some. I don't even really need this. But it's a shrine, so... See, this is why I wish it showed durability, because I don't I've been using this one, but it has durability plus, so it might still have more durability than this one. I'll just I don't even know if I used that one, but I'll just drop it and take another one. Whatever. That way at least the chest is open in this shrine. Alright, so our first modest test of strength. I don't think he hit me once. I think that was also a flawless victory. So I did the flawless victory on the minor test, the modest, and then we'll see if I can do it on the major. I think on the minor it was a little more stylish of a victory. My my dodges were a little more perfect. On this one I felt like I was doing it early. I mean it did give it to me, but it still didn't feel as as like right before he strikes as it could have been. Oh well. I'm still waking up, so that's why I'm not talking as much. <laughs> oh, look at the view, guys. Actually, I'm going to recreate Zumwar's... I don't remember what shield he had. Zumwar has a very famous picture, and I think it's literally out of the same shrine, looking at the same viewpoint, and he has this thunder blade. It's, it's like his thumbnail for a lot of his pictures. I, I literally had it as my uh, desktop background for a while. Yeah, pretty epic. Cookie just vibing right there. Um, I think I'm gonna summon, we only got a couple more minutes, and then after, I do wanna fly down there, which we should easily be able to do from here. And look guys, it's Eventide Island, which maybe we'll do that next episode. Maybe we'll do the, the shrine down there and the island. I still don't know where the tower is. Where is the tower in this area? Now it's raining. Well, all right, let's summon in some amiibos. I haven't done that in a while. Let's see if we can get some weapons. All right, so this is a Link amiibo. Link usually gives weapons. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's a Pona. We already have a Pona. This is a different Link amiibo. Chill Shroom. One-handed weapon! Ah, oh, that's a nice weapon, but a Claymore is two-handed, right? Ah. Alright. Well, at least it's a weapon. This is Link from Ocarina of Time. Or, I mean, sorry, Majora's Mask. Fire arrows. Alright. This is another Link. Wait, what? And another opponent, okay. We got two opponents here, guys. This is, ooh, I'm not gonna use that, that's Urbosa. I'm not gonna use any of the champion amiibos until after we defeat the champions. This is another Link. This is to Toon Link from Wind Waker, I think. Soldier's Broadsword, that's what we want. And it has critical hit, nice. You can tell it's Wind Waker Link because of all the uh, fish. This is Princess Zelda. We're getting a lot of cooking stuff. Topaz, all right. One-handed weapon, this is Sheik. I always wonder why Sheik drops, drops all the mushrooms. Oh, wow. Again, that's a two-handed... No, is that a one? Yeah, it is. Well, we got our cool katana back, but... I have so many two-handed weapons, I might just have to chuck one. This is my only one-handed weapon. The Demon Carver and the uh, Soldier's Broadsword now. Let's summon a couple more. This is uh, Zelda. I think Zelda only gives us bows, though, so... I don't really need another bow. Unless it's an upgrade. Okay, Opal, I'll take that. Th that's uh, Daruk. That's Rivali. This is another Link. 
Link usually gives weapons. This is another Toon Link, I think. Yep. A soldier spear. That's actually a really bad weapon. I'm not even gonna take that. Wow. Alright, another Link. Different Link. I have a- oh! Big crates. Wait, I did take the spear. Oh. Ten arrows? Oh wait, there's a chest too. That's that's a decent weapon. So I'm gonna I mean it's only 14 damage, but at least it has At least it has critical hit plus, so. We're already at 30 minutes, but this episode might just run a few minutes long so I can scan some more amiibos. I don't think you guys will mind, right? I do wish it wasn't raining on us, but whatever. This is Link again. Jeez, the chest just fell right on the fish. Ooh, that's a decent looking weapon. Honestly, I'm just gonna chuck the soldier's claymore. It's good, it's more damage, but I just don't need that many two-handed weapons. All right, here's a Ganondorf amiibo. I don't think I've ever used a Ganondorf. Some money. A lot of money. Opal? We're not getting anything rare. Like, I know some of these amiibos, you can get rare stuff. This is a Bokoplin. Amiibo. He'll probably just give us... And it's only 12 damage. Kind of weak. That's Mifa. We're not going to use her. I got a few more Amiibos. We're getting a lot of food, man. That is a good weapon. That's a one-handed weapon, too, isn't it? Alright, let's, uh, drop one of these, because this one's actually way better. That's a nice one. That's my best one-handed weapon right now. Alright, I need to remember which amiibos gave me the good weapons. This is Link riding a horse amiibo. I don't think I've ever used this one. Okay. Okay. This is Link shooting a bow, Amiibo. I'll probably get a bow out of this one. Ice arrows, okay, or arrows. I got like a few more Amiibos left, so then I'm all done. Might as well use them all. That is a Majora's Mask Amiibo. All right, let's see what we got. A ruby. Finally, it stopped raining. And this is a guardian amiibo. Oh, iron chest. The guardian amiibo is the only amiibo where you can actually get guardian weapons and ancient stuff, so that's pretty cool. Look at all these chests just laying around. Ah, oh, nice. Ancient cores are actually super hard to find, so that's very useful. All right, last one, guys. This is the Pixel Link Amiibo. Hey! Finally something rare. We got the cap of the hero. According to legend, this cap was once treasured by an ancient hero. It's quite the simple cap, yet there's something appealing. Something about it that's just so appealing. I think that's the Wind Waker cap. Alright, I think that's all of my amiibos. Other than the uh, champion ones, so... There we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like. And as always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.